Hey everybody, I'm Josh Hardcastle with Rookie DIY, and in this video I'm building a shelving unit with flip-up wings on both sides to fill a bay window. Let's get started. My friends who are having me make this unit for their daughter's room want the unit to fill a bay window but also want the wings to fold down in case they want to use it elsewhere if they need. I'm building the whole thing out of 3 quarter inch plywood, two piano hinges, and some glue and screws. In these first couple shots I'm just measuring and cutting the plywood down to their finished sizes. I'm just using a circular saw and a straight edge to make these cuts. The wood was moving around a little bit on me so I grabbed a slab of marble I had laying around to weigh it down. For some of the longer cuts, I'm just cutting by eye since my straight edge isn't long enough to make one long straight cut. Then I'm sanding down all the edges just a bit to remove some of the jagged edges and splinters. This is just quick sanding for now and I'll do some finishing sanding later. After this, I'm using cutoff of the plywood to measure out the width for some half lap joints which will hold all the shelving together. I'm making the cuts for the half lap joint with a circular saw as I thought this would be the quickest way to do this with the tools that I have. I found out the jigsaw was really the way to go. It's allowing me to get a pretty straight line on the sides and move it side to side to flatten the back end of the groove out. I'm cleaning up the edges with a chisel on some spots that were slightly uneven and I'm moving on to the other joints. I'm using a cutoff of plywood to make sure that the other half lap cut plywood would fit. I start by putting the pieces together as far as they'll go by hand and used a rubber mallet to make sure the joints are seated all the way. I'm making the unit in this order so I can assemble the outside walls as basically a box, then slide the shelves in and secure everything down. I'm driving screws through the sidewall into the horizontal shelf to give the shelf some additional support. For the top and bottom, I went with finishing nails so they aren't as obvious and don't need the support as much as the horizontal shelves. Next, I'm cutting out what I call the wings. Fortunately, they're just 45 degree cuts, so I'm using my speed square for the lines to cut these out. Now I'm just finding the center of the wing and measuring out where the piano hinge needs to go. Here I'm just making a small three-sided lip for the wing supports to go into. Again, I'm just using small cutoffs that I cut down to the same length and gluing and nailing them into a U-shape. I'm putting one on each side wall of the shelving unit and the underside of each wing. Now time for a whole lot of sanding. Everyone knows how exciting but necessary this step is, so we're moving to super speed. After seeing how sharp the corners were and that this is going into a kid's room, I decided to round the corners. I just used the closest saw to me, the palm sander, and a makeshift sanding block to get a smooth rounded corner. While my wife and I are disassembling and painting, I'd like to give a genuine thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, or even if you hate the video, let me know. This helps me know what type of projects or videos you like or dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to each one. And lastly, if you want to see what I build next, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and again, thanks. We ended up doing two coats of paint on the whole shelving unit and sanded between coats. I just wanted to make sure that everything looked real nice and clean and had consistent coverage. After paint, I just needed to add edge banding for a real clean, crisp, finished look and feel. This is the first time I've ever used edge banding and was surprised at how simple it was to use. Just cut each strip to length, set it in place, and go over it with an iron. The edge banding has dried glue on the back side that softens when it's heated and hardens when it cools, kind of like a hot glue gun. 
I am using slightly wider edge banding than the thickness of the wood, so once the banding is in place, grab a razor and trim off each side. I just repeated the process for the wings, and I was surprised at how well the edge banding worked over the rounded corners. And lastly, I just reassembled the whole unit and took it over to our friend's house for the reveal. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me putting the whole thing back together. Now this is the first time I've built anything with flip up wings on the side and I'm sure there are better ways to support them. I just wanted to make something simple enough that a 5 year old could understand and more than sturdy enough for her to be able to play with her Legos or whatever she wants on it. This was a really fun project to work on and I'm super happy that I got to build this for some of my best friends and I hope they have as much fun with it as I had building it.